Hello guys, and we have quite a bit of news to go through today, and a lot of it involves Djokovic, tennis, Laureus Awards, Kasper Ruud, Nadal, Djokovic, and Alcaraz, and someone else at the Real Madrid game overnight against Barcelona, and a couple other things to go over. First up, the big one, Djokovic was in Madrid to watch the Real Madrid and Barcelona game. Here he is being given a custom, personalized Real Madrid Champions League jersey with his name and number one on the back from the Real Madrid club president Florentino Perez. It's a great gift, but the real news is that Djokovic is in Madrid. And what is tonight? None other than the Laureus Sports Awards. So perhaps he wasn't snubbed. Perhaps he just didn't want to play the Madrid Masters. He's trying to save himself for the Rome Masters. And that's good because perhaps it's more of a tactical choice not to play Madrid. And he'll be back up and running and hopefully winning the Rome Masters. We'll see. But it's a big one. Next up, we also have this photo of Tom Brady, Djokovic, and actor Adam Garcia, who was in the Oceans movies and The Godfather. He will be hosting the Laureus Awards, and he was there alongside Djokovic and Tom Brady. Watching the Real Madrid and Barcelona game, Djokovic and Tom Brady have developed a bit of a friendship over the years and have been together more often in recent times. So that's another hint that Djokovic will at least be at the Laureus Awards and likely will be walking away with a Laureus Sportsman of the Year Award for a record sixth time, I believe. We'll see. And Djokovic talking about the Santiago Bernabeu, the Real Madrid Stadium. He's calling it the most beautiful stadium in the world. And it is. You can see in the background here, it's enormous. It looks like some sort of thing out of a sci-fi movie. Quite similar to the LA Stadium, if you guys have seen it, the SoFi Stadium. Bit of a side note there, but it's an indoor stadium. It's beautiful, isn't it? Next up, he wasn't the only tennis player there. We also saw Carlos Alcaraz, and he was alongside his coach, Juan Carlos Ferrero. He was seen also supporting Real Madrid. There's a clip here. Let's have a look. I might leave it on mute because of copyright reasons. Let's have a look at the video. And there you go. He's getting happy for that last goal. That's when Bellingham did score to win the game for Real Madrid. And he's obviously a Real Madrid fan, so it's happy days for him. And we'll see whether it'll be happy days for him in Madrid as well for the Tennis Open. And also, Nadal was also happy when Jude Bellingham scored that goal. Look at him going crazy. It's a big day for Real Madrid, probably still in the league title. And they're on their way to a 15th Champions League, now in the semifinals, going to face Bayern Munich. And it's a popular team amongst tennis players, isn't it? He's a happy man, Nadal. Will he be a happy man in Madrid? We'll see. But I'm sure he's just glad he's going to play. And here we go, Sriontek. Also at the Santiago Bernabeu. I'm not sure how good her seats are in relation to Djokovic, Alcaraz and Nadal. But she was there. Stefano Tsitsipas is now a four times runner up in Barcelona. But that's not what's important. What's important is that Kasper Ruud has walked away with the title in Barcelona, winning his first ever title above an ATP 250. And he talks about how watching his idol Rafa Nadal win Barcelona so many times was a big motivation for him to come here and win it too. Growing up, I idolized Nadal. He won this tournament 12 times, so it has been a big motivation and inspiration for me to come here. Lifting the trophy is a fantastic feeling. I had three defeats in finals this year, so it has been great to be able to have my revenge and finally be able to lift the title. It's a great step forward in my career. Well done to Rude. I didn't expect him to win following only losing to the Pass a week back, but these courts, he's used to them. He played a lot in the Rafa Nadal Academy, probably played in Barcelona a lot, loves the clay courts. It's not too surprising when you really analyze it. And here we go, a video of Casper Rude, courtesy of Tennis TV, jumping into the pool. Of course, that's the yearly tradition they have in Barcelona. Whoever wins Barcelona Open has to jump in fully clothed, followed by the ball kids. It's a great, fun tradition they have, and long may it continue. And Casper Rude gets his turn this year. So well done to Casper. And just to finish off there, we do have Casper Rude talking about his win at the Barcelona Open. And I'll leave you with this video. We'll see if Djokovic does win the Laureus Awards. We will preview the Madrid Open, which actually we can go over now. Who do you guys think will win out of these four players? Kasper Brud, Sinan, Nadal and Alcaraz. Also, some other contenders include Zvedev, Tsitsipas, no Djokovic this year. There's a poll going on at the moment on the Sporting Community Polls on the YouTube channel, and that's just only one hour ago, so not a lot of votes have come in yet, but I'm sure we'll get the votes up, and we'll see who the community believes will win the Madrid Open. On the behalf of Sportic, it's Sportic's first birthday. We joined YouTube a year ago, and it's seen a lot of progress in the last year. 
specifically in 2024. We picked up the amount of videos we've been making in 2024 and we hope to keep growing this channel. We thank you for all the support and we hope to make this channel even bigger and make our community even stronger, more diverse and a place where you guys can talk all sports. I'll leave you with this video of Casper Ruud talking about his game plan in the Barcelona final. Until next time. Well, uh, just to um, kind of give it to him a little bit more than the last week, uh, final in Monte Carlo was all the way on, always on the back foot, too far behind. He had too much time to control the game and, uh, you know, a bit of a tricky start. I got broken right away. It's not the best start, but uh, I managed to settle in, got the break back and then clutched, clutched up and broke him in the end of the first, which was uh, huge. You know, um, it's been two long weeks for both of us and, you know, uh, it's obvious that at some point uh, fatigue is going to kick in. I think we were both fit enough to play today. It's not, not about that, but uh, winning the first set was huge for probably... The, Either of us who, who would have won the first set would have a big advantage.